final question, question 60. Answer this in a minute and a half and come back. All right, what did you get? In the diagram, well, I guess there should have been only one M here. PT is parallel to QS. Well, you can see that by the arrows, all right? And QR equal RS. QR, the length from Q to R, is the same as the length from R to S. They also show it by the two strokes on each. The ratio of area of T O of TQS TQS over the ratio of P QR is all right. Let's see. You're looking at the area of here. The, all of this area compared to all of this area. All right. So what you have is this length for this triangle for the bigger triangle is twice this length for the smaller triangle. Now you have in this case the same height. If you have the big triangle or the small triangle half base time height and the big triangle half times two times the base times the same height when you divide them TQS. Well, TQS is a bigger triangle. <coughs> so, half times 2 times the base times the height over the smaller triangle, half times only the one base times the height. Let's cancel down. Half cancel half, H cancel H, base cancel base. This is 2 over 1. So, it is 2. Alright? So, it is 2. It might trick you if you remember that when you double the dimensions of a shape, the area becomes four times, which is two square. But in this case, it's not all the dimensions you double, only one of them you double. You did not double the height. So D wouldn't work, it is B. So the answer for question 60 is B.